to Abbotsham Baptist Carol Service for 2020. It tells the story of how the birth of Jesus Christ occurred after hundreds of years of waiting. It's a story about how God fulfilled a promise to send his son to reconcile humankind to God. It's a story with angels, a cruel king, and wise men, shepherds, a young woman, and a faithful, kind man. It's a story of love and hope. When we come to the carols, the words will appear so that you can join in with the singing. Our story starts around 700 years before Jesus was born, when, inspired by God, the prophet Isaiah foretold the coming of a child who would grow to be the most extraordinary person. Christ's birth and kingdom foretold by Isaiah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this.
The Birth of Jesus Foretold In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she, who was said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Caesar Augustus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and everyone went to their hometown to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, 
to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time for the baby came to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for him. We take a few moments now to join together in thanking God for his indescribable gift in the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that there was a specific time for Jesus to be born, showing that you are the Lord of history. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you became one of us, sharing in our humanity, and that you lived a perfect life, performed many miracles, made people whole, always proclaiming the good news. We thank you above all that you became the rescuer from all that has spoiled and marred and led to failure. We thank you that you now offer forgiveness for sin and new life to all who will trust you rather than depending on their own effort. We thank you that you've conquered death. We thank you you're alive and that you will come again because you were born to be king and you will live forever. We thank you for being such a wonderful saviour. Amen. Silent night, holy night, sleeps the world hid from sight. Mary and Joseph in stable birth watched o'er the child beloved and fair, sleeping in heavenly rest, sleeping in heavenly rest. So worship Jesus and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you he is the Messiah the Lord this will be a sign to you you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and laying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favours rest. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. 
When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Jesus. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chiefs, priests, and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for that is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Amen. Kings of Orient are bearing gifts, we travel afar. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding. 
will guide us to the perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to the perfect light. Frankincense for Jesus have I, God on earth, yet priest on high. Prayer and praising, all men raising, worship is earth's reply. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to the perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume, tells of his death and Calvary's gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in a stone-cold tomb. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to the perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Hem sings Alleluia, Alleluia, the earth replies. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to the perfect light. John 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light, he came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives the light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, nor a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Thank you for joining in with our carol service. We hope you enjoyed the carols and the readings. Thank you to Nick Wyke for editing all the contributions and making this possible. And now to close with prayer. Thank you, Father God, for the birth of Jesus Christ. We ask that this very different Christmas, we remember to place Jesus at the centre of our celebrations. We praise you that he completed all that you asked of him. And because of his sacrifice and resurrection, he has opened the way for all to inherit eternal life through faith in him. We remember all who this Christmas are missing someone lost through the effects of the pandemic. Be close, we pray, to all who are suffering this Christmas, and may they gain hope in you. We can finish by saying the grace together. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. Christmas and a happy new year to all, everybody. And a good year too. Happy Thank Christmas you. everybody. Well hello everybody. We, we do hope that you have a very happy Christmas even though it may be different but that you will be blessed and we can rejoice in the coming of our Saviour Jesus. Yes our greetings we do rejoice. Our Saviour has been born Alive in Him. Happy Christmas. Bye bye. God bless you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas Happy to Christmas. everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm missing you so much. Happy Christmas, and I'm sending a big hug. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I wish you all a very happy Christmas, and of course, a wonderful new year. I won't be sending cards this year because of what every, how everything is. You know, I can't go out doing this, doing that. So it's got just, it's just got to be a very happy Christmas. Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas, everybody, everybody and, and a 
Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Everybody. Everybody. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Hello everyone at Abbotsham Baptist Chapel. I just wanted to say hi and that I'm thinking of you all and sending you lots of Christmas greetings from here in Cairo. From Beth. <laughs> Happy, Christmas, Happy Christmas everybody. Happy Christmas to everybody at Abbotsham. Happy Christmas, all Abercham Chapel. Lots of love, Alexis. A happy Christmas and a, and a healthy, healthy new, new year. year. Happy Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope to see you all soon. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas, everybody. Can't wait to see you all soon. Happy, happy Christmas, Christmas, everybody! Happy, happy Christmas, Christmas, everyone! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas, everybody! everybody.